Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In a major boost for Indian Air Force, the central government has cleared a mega project of six new made in India airborne early warning and control aircraft AVOX. The six AVOX aircraft have been cleared by cabinet committee on security and they would be built on Airbus A319 aircraft to be provided by state-owned Air India. Six AVOX are ordered and Indian Air Force will require six more in six to seven years. In this video, we will discuss about DIDO AVOX 2 or Netra 2.0 program and its main feature. We will also try to cover all the doubts of our viewers in our previous video of Netra 2.0 so let's get started. Now the first question is why are we using Airbus A319 instead of Embraer 145 which is a proven platform. This is because Embraer company is blacklisted by Ministry of Defense. Purchase and maintenance of this aircraft is going to be difficult. Also Airbus A319 has better payload, work area and flight time compared to ERJ 145. Airbus 319 has a takeoff weight of 75,500 kg, total thrust of 240 kn and a range of 6,800 km. The A319 offers far better parameter which will result in more stable and capable system. Second question is what exact area coverage is provided by antenna array unit? The six aircraft would be modified to fly with radar that will give 270 to 300 degree surveillance capability to the defense forces. AES radar on the Fontenot's cone can provide a area coverage of more than 60 degree, whereas air surveillance radar will cover 120 plus 120 degree of coverage and consist of two sets of antenna array unit in single assembly. In totality, they are going to provide 300 degree of area coverage which can be further be increased by increasing the number of antenna array panels. However, it is not clear that how many antenna array units is going to be installed on this platform but one can definitely say that it will have arrangement to cover 270 to 300 degree area coverage. In my opinion, Indian Air Force does not need 360 degree area surveillance especially if you are flying inside Indian territory. There are some speculations that the frontal nose cone will consist of Uttam AES radar which is under development. The third question is why DIDO is not using 360 degree circular array radar. The Airbus A319 is a narrow body aircraft. Lot of air friction and drag tests were conducted to finalize the design by DIDO. As a result, a large 360 degree circular array radar could not be integrated with it. To tackle this problem, DIDO has decided to modify the A319 to carry two radars. Antenna array unit are made with gallium nitride transmitter and receiver modules. They are lighter, faster and will require less power. So. For powering these two powerful radars, dual auxiliary power supply units are provided in Netra 2.0. This radar can track and detect enemy aircraft from 450 to 600 km away, providing better early warning platform than Netra 1. Fourth question is, what is the status of Falcon AVOX? Presently, AVOX is in India's negative import list, so it is not possible to purchase any such platforms from other country. I hope this would have covered all the doubts about Netra 2.0. Now we are going to discuss some other sensors installed in Netra 2.0. Netra 2.0 will incorporate STATCOM, data link, identification of friend and foe system, electronic countermeasure system, self-protection suit, chaff dispenser and dual auxiliary power unit. It will incorporate two radar, they are synthetic aperture radar and gallium arsenide based triple AU MK2 radar. It will have multiple communication antenna to communicate with different frequency band in order to avoid channel overlapping. Airbus military will be in charge of conversion and certification of the aircraft so that it can fly international routes if and when required for military deployments. 
Airbus military will deliver the first aircraft in next two years to DRDO. Then DRDO will then start equipping it with radars and sensors in India. After that, developmental trials of the aircraft will start in next four years. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your view about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions on any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our channel if you have not done already. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.